Welcome to First Day Air Gun. I'm your host, Lou, and today we're checking out the Crossman Magfire Extreme and 177 caliber. It's a multi shot brake barrel, comes with a 12 shot magazine. Weighs in at about 9.4 pounds and is about 44 inches long. So, a little bit on the heavy side, a little bit long, but it does have a really, really beautiful tactical look and the butt pad is very very solid rubber and uh, you'll be able to grip that nice and tight if you need to some brake barrels like a tight grip some don't but if you need that extra grip on there it is there a uh, fully adjustable cheek piece here AR style grip with a two-stage adjustable trigger it is running on the nitro piston technology it does have Picatinny Weaver style mounts up here open sights, uh, fully adjustable for windage and elevation. Uh, they're a little on the dark side, they're serviceable, they'll do in a pinch if your uh, scope doesn't uh, work out for you or it takes a crap on you. And it does come with a center point 3 to 9 by 40 adjustable objective scope, uh, just a regular old crosshair reticle, uh, serviceable, better than what you usually get in a boxed uh, brake barrel air gun. Uh, but still very, very serviceable. It'll get you shooting, that's for sure. Um, cocking effort isn't really that bad at all. And uh, I'm going to show you how to load up the magazine here in a second. I've been shooting 10.5 grain Crossmans, getting about 14 and a half foot pounds of muzzle energy. Shot a dime sized group at 10 yards. Uh, I'll leave a link in the. Uh, description uh, below for that video but I want to uh, before we do that I want to show you some chronograph numbers real quick uh, we're gonna blast some clay from a man mr. Whitfield out there and uh, Timmy 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 I hope you uh, dig this little 177 bad boy out and uh, to all my other friends out there in YouTube land let's get this party started wanted to also mention that it does have two mounting points one here at the back of the stock and one right here at the front of the gun as stated earlier it is using nitro piston technology yeah baby <laughs> this air gun is stealthy and capable just like a raccoon and yes you will need a lot of 177 caliber pellets being it's a multi-shot brake barrel. I like the fact that they have a five-year warranty, so they're really standing behind their product. Loading the magazine is fairly simple. Uh, as you can see here, it has a little notch cut out. It'll go from full all the way down to zero. So now they'll click over one, it'll say 11. And what you do is make sure you put your finger down on the bottom or else it's gonna drop out. But put the pellet in, rotate, and now it'll say 10 shots and you count your way down to zero. Repeat the process until your magazine is loaded and just make sure you get yourself plenty of Crossman dome pellets and what I always do is get the Andy Gray treatment. That's why they got them cool looking skirts. The other day, we were averaging about 780. I'm going to give you a couple of chronograph numbers here. As you can see, it is a stout little 177 caliber. Very consistent. You know what time it is. It's my favorite time. Time to shoot some clay. The little clay ball on the right here is uh, hardened up, so it's not going to expand like the other one. Twenty-five yards. My apologies, everyone. I wasn't able to get the entire group on film. Unfortunately, due to the rain that started, we had some technical difficulties. I was able to shoot this group. It was 1.9 inches of a 12-shot group at 25 yards. The bulk of the group there is at 1.3. My goal was 1.5 at 25 yards, and we achieved it. 
So what do I think of the Crossman Magfire 177 Extreme Morty Shot Brake Barrel? I'll tell you what, it's a great shooting gun. I've only put about 150 pellets through it so far. And as you see, I was shooting in some uh, pretty inclement conditions. It was snowing and raining. Uh, that's why the camera took a crap on us. I apologize. But I did want to show you the group. Um, this barrel was not cleaned whatsoever because uh, some of you know that I just kind of run and gun. Unless we have really, really horrible accuracy, I usually don't clean the barrels. I just kind of run the pellets until it cleans itself out. I don't recommend that, but that's what I do a lot of the time. I'm guilty of it. The uh, scope is actually very serviceable at the 25 yard distance. I think this scope will work out to about 50 yards, uh, no problem. And we were only shooting the 10.5 grain so far out of this gun. And as you know, Crossman has a ton of pellets. So we're going to do a lot more testing of Crossman pellets in the Magfire Extreme. So that's what I got for you today, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.